Kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time 2016 Yard Machine Police Special 500E, similar to the Bolins that I just got for 10 bucks, or priced it at 10. I'm sure the uh, model number is going to be similar, both high wheelers, just painted differently. Got a greenie and a reddy. So like I mentioned yesterday in the other video, the um, seller of this thing on Facebook Marketplace had me meet him at the police station to do the exchange, which I thought was kind of odd, but went along with his desire. Usually I don't buy anything on Facebook because like I said, I've got multitudes of scrappers but it looked decent 20 bucks um guy said he's reduced his yard size put in a bunch of decorative stone and um just has a little electric electric powered lawnmower to do a small 10 by 10 section so um I pulled on this thing earlier. I didn't have any action, so I think it's going to be similar to the Bolins with um, old fuel or stale fuel. I kind of stepped on my turkey baster. Hopefully, there's enough suction in this thing to get a sample. And almost identical deja vu to the, the Bolins. Really dark yellow fuel. But I see some crud dancing around in the tank or my container, which was at the bottom of the tank. You can see that big pool of snot there, really yellowish fuel, probably outdated. So more of the same. What I'm going to do is... Uh, happy juice this thing he said the other issue is the uh, cable was rusty and he was right i tried to move the um, safety brake cable and that would not budge at all so i got it jimmied up with my favorite pair of vice grips so at the very minimum we need a another safety brake cable or i'll try to oil that one Okay, the oil in this is older or well used versus the Bolins we just looked at, and it's a little on the low side. But it'll be good enough just to start. I'm going to change it out anyway. We'll do an oil change on this one. So let's get busy. We'll go through the whole production here of cleaning the carb if this thing fires off okay totally brittle filter probably the original one dry rotted so that's that shows your maintenance there which was none no maintenance on the 2016 okay let me move this junk and then we're gonna Proceed with the fix. Start and stall. Start and stall. That's all we ever encounter. Mostly start and stall. Luckily, this one here moves on all four wheels the Bolin's front wheel I still have to rectify that was rusted shut so let's bring this thing up it shouldn't take us long I'll leave the vice grips in place do the quick carb clean dump the fuel Dump the rest of it into this container.
Okay. We got five sixteenths or eight millimeter to remove the recoil screws, the three screws up here. So I've got mowers out of my ears right now. Haven't really repaired anything in the last couple weeks. I've been helping out other people with their issues or had technological malfunctions. So it's time to get serious and start fixing some of this junk that I've been collecting. Let's oil up the recoil since it's off. Looks like it could have used a little bit of oil. Looks kind of dry. Okay, we'll let that hang by the cord. Trying to see where I can go without blocking you. Maybe I gotta move you over just a little bit. Okay, wrong one. I was like, why isn't this thing coming off? It'd be helpful, Tommy, to go to the right nut. Let me blast this out here. There's some crap up here on top of the motor. Cleaned up the back and played a little bit with some compressed air. Removed the Z-bend on the linkage. Mr. Snake approved of that maneuver. Okay. I guess I can bring you down because this is what we're where we're going to be working. Try not to pour gas into my motivation juice. That's okay. I spilled it all over Mr. Snake. So that's, that's over with. I'm going to have to continue without any mo motivation. Which is fine. With all my might, there she goes. What do we got left in here for clean petroleum products? There's some snot down there. Let me blast this out with some air and then we'll go on to the carburetor. Let this sit while we're working, air dry the rest of the way.
Okay, that's done. Spilled most of my gas on the bench, so I can't really see if there was water in it, but we can try. Let me get my big flat head and we'll pop this thing open. Two, um, two similar projects this week, both uh, 500 E series Briggs engines. This one's a little tighter. But there's enough gap in there, I can put a smaller screwdriver and pop this thing. Like that. We've got a little fuel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really bad. I'm getting it all over myself here. Let me try to tilt you down so you can see that. Trust me, there's a lot of uh, debris in there. Probably water. Really stale and crappy. Yeah, a lot of water just um, poured into the bottom of this thing. So fuel contamination, let me move this container to the side or I'm going to spill that all over Mr. Snake. He's not going to be happy. Okay, that's ready to go on. Main jet's open. I can see the white plastic behind. Let's pop the whole cartridge out and look at it. Really um, dark fuel right there. Secondary jet's open. I can see through that. So we just had some raunchy, raunchy fuel. This isn't going to be a big... Uh, big time waster we're going to be able to get this thing up to snuff one whole block there we'll blast that out it's got some snot got some snot all the way through the back of the hole so let's blast that off right now I won't make the mistake and not clean the tube here like I did on the Bolins that we still had a blockage. I ended up having to do the job twice. Okay, that's clean on that one. Everything looks looks copacetic, so let's put it all back together again. I'll put the cartridge back together, and then I'll go ahead and blast some air through the um, air tunnels. afraid of that. My compressed air blasted. Let 
blasted this out of place. So hole's got to face down because that's where my cartridge goes in. You can see there I don't have it lined up because you can see all the white. I got to keep twisting it till I can see the opening. So what do I got that I can stick down in there? Give this thing a healthy twist. Or just start over again. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it in place. And I just blasted it out again. Because I found a little bit of dirt that I had shaken loose. There we go, popped into place. Put my cartridge in. Because that little, that little tip's got to go through the hole up here, I'll show you. That little tip there in the middle's got to go through that hole in the middle, so it's got to be all lined up. Two thumbs down. Load assemblies working as it should. Okay, this will be a quickie quick. And take my seven and do this one manually with my quarter inch drive from Chenna. Just snug it, go to this one, snug that one down and then go back to the first one. Back and forth, back and forth until I'm satisfied, which I am now. Okay. My white keeper and the O-ring are in place. Nobody's tampered with that. Let me, let me bring you up again. Linkage Z-Ben goes in. So this will probably be a hundred and thirty dollar unit. I think I'm gonna go for the high wheels, one thirty or maybe one forty if it shines up like a Lawrence Carroll paint job. Because I, I've been keeping track of the retail prices of the mowers, and I actually was in Wally World recently. Their power craps are two forty seven right now. And um, those are just the small wheels, adjustable wheels, with the 300E series engines. So these, these boogers aren't cheap anymore. I remember the Kmart days of the $99 Murray specials. Those days are long, long gone. The only thing you're going to get for 99 is a rough, rough looking pusher, 20 inch pusher, which I may have from time to time, but 
normally I'm going to be asking more. I'll probably raise my prices. as I, I seem to be doing this automatically, maybe $10 a season. If I was at one thirty last year for a standard pusher, I'm going up to one forty. I've been keeping my Toro South propelled at one fifty. I think I should probably go to one seventy on those because you can't touch a self propelled now for under four hundred, a decent one at least. There's some off brands out there. The Power Smarts are a little less. Okay, I'm going to get my um, impact and impact those two. Just because they were a little rusty. Let me steal the air filter off of the Bolins. It's a little wet because I kind of washed that thing down with some degreaser with you. Hopefully this little bit of moisture in here is not going to screw me up, but we'll, we'll find out. Won't we? So we just got to add some fuel, let the table down. And see if this thing works. Funny thing, when I was at the uh, police department, they got a big garage, and I was standing there waiting for the dude, and four or five um, undercover cops came out in pickup trucks, all uh, Chevys, either gray or black tinted windows, you could see the lights, trailer hitches, I guess they were trying to blend in with what's out on the road. You'd have to look really close to see they were undercover or unmarked, I should say unmarked. So if you ever want to see what the police are using, go to the police station and watch the parking garage at five o'clock. They'll pull out of there. They were running stop signs too, but I wasn't about to say anything. That's not my job. I think every single one of them rolled stop signs. Maybe they were on a mission. Okay, let's lower this thing down. I think I got enough oil to start. Let's see if we're going to have some luck. Well, I got my backup motivation. Thank goodness. I came out with two cups earlier. So I can finish off with some motivation. Okay. Now 
if the vice grips stay on, we'll be we'll be doing great. I'm ready to roll. Okay, quick adjustment on the RPM. It seemed like it was excessive. So I've got a video on how to adjust that. There's a metal tab attached to the spring under there. To the front is increased the RPM. To the back is decreased. So you take the top of the tab where the spring goes in and you push it either way, depending on what you want. So this is the... Um, model number 11 alpha bobl 729 so started started nicely just the high rpm and i noticed there must be a screw loose or these are loose both of those on the guard are, are loose because this was jacking around both ways so I got to tighten those two up. Since it started, let's roll it over and see what the blade looks like. If we got to change the blade out. Okay, kind of crusty. A lot of crust. Blade looks fine. Still square. Just needs to be touched up and there's enough meat on it to touch it up no huge nicks in it so both of the bolins and this yard machine had decent blades that just need sharpening i don't have to change them so leaving the um grass and whatever crud that is on these you lose the little bit of paint that they paint these with from the factory just a real thin layer and it peels off like so so yeah I'm happy for 20 bucks we're just looking at a cable it's rusted rusted shut and it came with the cover the Bolins did not so what do you guys think for 20 normally i don't go out searching for them like i said most of the scrappers bring them to me quite a few of them now bring them to me there's maybe one or two that i gotta go to now one of them is um like 79 haven't heard from him in a while hope he's not dead but he just does it two days a week so maybe it's been dry for him hasn't found anything 
he's kind of sporadic anyway, since he's not a full-timer. He, he um, doesn't cover a big territory. He just sticks around to his house the two days a week that they uh, put out garbage. He doesn't venture across the whole county, which some of mine do. They'll, um, like I said, they'll go to each neighborhood depending on what day of the week it is. They know the garbage schedule by heart. So they'll go the night before and and pick what's been put out for the curb for 7 a.m. pickup. I can just tell from my neighborhood, too. They will be rolling around, four, five, six of them. Some of them I don't even know, but some I've made contact with, and they know me. A few in the last six months, and they've turned out to be good um, good sources for mowers. Anyway, let me give you the um, engine number on this one. the serial number serial is one six zero two one six five one two zero eight two four let me try to find the um, engine number if I can see it here I think I can do it just from experience the nine Frank six zero two zero zero seven six Frank one. I think that's almost similar, or exact to the Bolins. Nine Frank six zero two zero zero seven six Frank one. Built second month. It looks like the sixteenth of twenty sixteen. Two sixteen sixteen on the uh, build date. So there you have it. Happy, happy with both of these. This one needs to be painted. The um, cleaning job seemed to get rid of all the snot that was on the deck. I'll clean this one up next. Get this one ready for uh, some paint. Can use some paint right there all the way around. Happy Thursday. Thanks for coming out. Hopefully by the weekend my desktop is up and running. And it'll be easier for me. Thanks. Tip your waitress and wait staff. Have a good day today. Come back and see me. Let me know. Would you spend 20 bucks and go pick this up from your neighborhood police station? The police special for 20 bucks.